As knows, Moise Kesido Beat Ready, it's a story that has been reported by close to four journalists and I thought that before we go to bed today and as we wait for the Premier League fixtures tomorrow, we have to go ahead and really talk about this story because it's really so much important and pivotal into the side of Arsenal fans all over the world that are watching the Rokani Media Football. And it's again the Arsenal News Show. After bringing you the story of Kai Havertz, we are here to bring you Moise Caicedo again, Declan Rice into the mix. And there is another one that you need to know and he goes by the names of um, Emily Smith Roy. I really love the player, and obviously, there is some huge update that Arsenal fans should go ahead and really celebrate on Emily Smith Roy. And Jakub Kivio has gone ahead to tie the keynote with his longtime girlfriend. Smash the like button close to 300 times onto this video, and let's see it really move to the world. And don't forget to subscribe because when we hit 15,000 subscribers, I congratulate everyone for really being part of that huge push for us hitting 14,000 subscribers and we are on our journey to hit 15,000 subscribers. So continue subscribing to see to it that we hit that number. And I know by the end of this month, we are going to have hit that number because it's all about, it's all about 16 days left and i think we can do the needful in the remaining six days 16 days now moise Casido is on to the list of arsenal and arsenal have gone ahead to show huge interest into the player and they want to really learn him at arsenal now the first person to bring in this story of the bead is known as charlie hafton premier league and nfl accredited reporter for the baham world and he is so much close to Brighton and is telling us a very huge story coming in from Brighton. He does the freelance job at the Premier League, five live sports and talk sport. So he's a person who is having a very huge attachment to Brighton. He has told us that Arsenal still haven't bid for Moise Quesido, but they will. It's just a matter of time. Chelsea are also planning a proposal, but Brighton are yet to receive offers. Brighton will keep their promise to Casido this summer. What is the promise of Brighton to Moise Casido? They told him we are going to sign, we are going to sell you in the summer, put pen to paper onto a four-year contract, and obviously we will let you go in the summer. And that was a promise given to Moise Casido by Mr. Bloom, the owner of Brighton, and the coach Roberto De Zabi. And preparing a bid, preparing a bid is what Arsenal really having in through for Moise Quesido, <clears throat> that 21 year old Ecuadorian that has gone ahead to fire all cylinders at Brighton this season. After that, we got another story coming in from um, Simon Phillips. He's a Chelsea fan and obviously does it for the talk, talk Chelsea and CD and Talk, very close sources at Chelsea and he has gone ahead and really told us that um, a source has informed that Arsenal have a bid prepared for Moise Quesido with an 80 pound million offer being touted. Arsenal want to sign Moise Quesido on top of Declan Rice and are financially in a terrific place to pull <coughs> both deals off. Arsenal are serious this summer and are expected to spend 200 million pounds. So, <clears throat> Arsenal want to go ahead and obviously get this deal over the line. <laughs> that is a deal of Moise Quesido and they are even willing to spend 200 million pounds plus. And if I told you how to add Declan Rice, 100 million pounds, Moise Quesido, 80 million pounds, that is 180 million pounds, add on Kai Havertz, 50 million pounds, that is 230 million pounds and remember they are in they are in search of a right back maybe when they get in Moise Quesido they won't go in for right back because they've experienced him play at the right back of Brighton towards the end of the season so as it stands Arsenal can spend 200 million pounds plus as I told you that they are willing to offer him 200 million pounds and the money of sales if you add on it, Arsenal can find itself in a position of spending 300 million pounds. Players to be sold are really <coughs> many. Uh, Florent Balogan, with the desire of Kai Havertz, you better know that he's not in the plans of the manager, meaning that Kai Havertz is coming in through as a third striker at Arsenal. And 
they can sell him at like 40 million pounds knt any 30 that is 70 add on grant is 15 million pounds 85 million pounds um you go to sambi albert lokonga they can get like 30 from him that is 115 add on nuno tavares expecting close to 20 million pounds from him so there is the arsenal is having a very huge list of players to sell i think i should combine that video of 10 players that Mikel Teta is willing to sell <coughs> out of arsenal this season i think they'll come in through and obviously make what we call perfect sense for that and then we go to the evening standard the evening standard coming in through and obviously giving us a very hot update about Declan Rice and Moise Quesido. <coughs> they told us that with Declan Rice seemingly on his way, Arsenal are now seemingly ready to turn to another bid, to another big name, midfield target. The Ecuadorian is high onto Mikel Arteta's list with Gunners ready to make their move for Moise Quesido once they wrap up their deal for Declan Rice. Now, looks like Arsenal are willing to go in for Moise Quesido, but <clears throat> it will be dependent on how much they've gone ahead to spend onto Declan Rice. And with the with with the deal of Kai Havertz coming in through, it's really going to be so much determinant on what Mikel Ateta wants. If Ateta wants one CDM, you know, and he's bringing in Kai Havertz and he's planning to play Kai Havertz into the Grand Tijaka position then they might pull out of the Moise Quesido deal. But as per the original plan, Arsenal want to hit in Declan Rice and Moise Quesido. They want to bring them both into the team of Arsenal. So, but before Arsenal gets that bid in of Declan Rice, sorry, of Moise Quesido, they want to go all out and get in a player known as Declan Rice first. So after Declan Rice, then they'll start to look at Moise Quesido. For Declan Rice, a bid is anticipated this week as Arsenal have gone ahead to do direct contact with West Ham and after winning the UEFA Conference League we are really highly anticipating for this to come in through for Declan Rice as a bid to the West Ham side. So that is it and lastly it's all about Jacobs Bend giving us a very huge update about Moise Quesido and he said <clears throat> the expectation is that both Chelsea and Arsenal will try again even though Brighton are just offering up a specific number, they rarely do. My understanding is it's going to be my understanding it my understanding is it's going to take a starting point of 70 million pounds guaranteed, but at least 10 million pounds in add on. So he's trying to really reveal us <clears throat> to the exact deal that can seduce Brighton to really late all of Lord Moise Casido to either Arsenal or Chelsea. It's all about Guaranteed fees of 70 million pounds plus 10 million pounds of add-ons that can really turn on the team of Brighton to sell the player. So let's wait and see how that happens. As I brought you a story yesterday that Moise Quesido wants to play Champions League football. That's it. A team that comes without Champions League football won't be entertained into this deal. That's why Arsenal have gone ahead to knock out Chelsea into this. And if at all United sort their ownership status early enough, they can come in through and obviously rival this side of um, of Arsenal if at all they delay and not put in a bid because he has not gone ahead to make a preference on which club he wants to be playing for next season. But if you're in Champions League and you're having the money that Brighton wants, he is 100% willing to go ahead and really play in for the team that is going to be playing into the Champions League. Now, let's go to this big story coming in from coming in from <clears throat> coming in from the Arsenal website as Emily Smith Rowe has been called upon by the English under 20 man by the English by the England 23 man squad to compete at the under 21 Europe European Championships in Romania and Georgia. <clears throat> sorry about that later next month into july so having called him that means he is really a very lucky player having gone ahead to have having gone ahead to have a very bad season 
as Emily Smith Rowe and he was being troubled by lots of injuries. This is this is a golden opportunity for him to get back to the level we know him at and uh, he has to use this tournament <coughs> to find himself fit for the season and I think after this tournament will join Arsenal into the American tour where they're going to be playing at. So what a chance for him to really find himself fit but he has been training in Dubai with O'Shea and other trainers to see to it that he finds himself back to the fitness levels that he wants himself to be on. And when you look at the level at which <coughs> he has found himself to be playing at for the previous seasons, he has been an elite player that Mikela Tata is a big fan of and he doesn't want to really put him as a McQuaid on the deal of Declan Rice. Remember, West Ham wanted to really get in Emily Smith Rowe on top of the money that Arsenal can really get them to see to it that they really get a deal over the line. Arsenal says no to West Ham that we cannot offer you this player as he's one of those that we really anticipate is going to be one of those hell end graduates that are going to really hit the ground or hit the ground running at the club of Arsenal. So this tournament comes at a very right time for Emily Smith Rowe to put him into that ilk of getting fit and prepared for the season. From that tournament, he'll join the team of Arsenal in America and is going to be one of the most fittest players of Arsenal. Why? He would have gone ahead to be playing into a competitive tournament and you don't really see England being knocked out of the group stages of this tournament, right? And uh, when you look at the fixtures, <coughs> let us see, under 21s, England under 21 is in a group that has Czech Republic, Germany, and Israel. And you anticipate that the English national team will have to really get out of this and they're going to play very many games that will really see him really find himself back to full fitness. And when he gets himself back to full fitness, it will be music to ears of Mikel Ateta as he wants him to, inst to get instilled into the team of Arsenal as up no sooner he joins them in America on the preseason. That is all about Emily Smith Rowe, a huge boost coming in from his camp that he's going to find himself in a position of really playing in the under 21. He's 22 years of age, but he's guaranteed to be put into that squad because they, they give you a chance to bring in like three players who are really above that age. And lastly, let's talk about Jakub Kivio, the Arsenal centre-back, as we are congratulating him upon his recent success of really tying the knot. Massive congratulations to Arsenal defender Jakub Kivio and his partner Claudia on their marriage over the weekend, wishing both of them a lifetime of happiness. That is Jakub Kivio. And let me show you how the two really looked when he was really landing a kiss onto the lips of Claudia. That is Jakub Kivio. And he found himself in a position of really tying the knot with a girlfriend that has been with for some bit of long time. And they were in Poland. Now, your thoughts on to Arsenal's Moise Casido bid ready after Declan Rice. After Declan Rice deal done. What do you make about it? Would you like Arsenal to go in for Moise Casido first or Declan Rice first? And secondly, Emily Smith Rowe called up for the under 21. 23 man squad to play in the under 21 euros very soon starting next month do you think it's going to help him to build up on his fitness to go ahead and be the challenge for his position no sooner he returns from that side and lastly what do you make about Jakub Kivio tying knot with a girlfriend down in Poland sign out for now see you later and I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ may the living true God bless you abundantly me out for now see you later ciao ciao